Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and this is Abandoned Ship. Now, at the end of our last episode, I said I went somewhere and died. And that happened, and I lost everything. But, as you can see, I've completely rebuilt, and I actually have a better ship than I had before. So, what happens is, when you go after this, for, uh, a, one of the coastal towns where the ports are when you go in they'll give you a three ship gauntlet that you run through and i did that and unfortunately this game doesn't the way the game saves i can't go back and do it without starting the game all over again but what happens is it was right here um and basically you went in and you've got it's a little gauntlet like i said it's uh, three different ships, pirate ships, and it tells you to do different things with them. Basically, I found the most money that you can make is by capturing ships. So I pretty much changed my build around to do that. And then it'll tell you, go after some of the head cult people. In fact, let's go into the uh, quest log here. So it says, uh, the cult has dispatched several command vessels in order to bring you to heal. If you can capture one intact, you can search it to discover what the cult are planning. And all it tells you basically is that you're going to be going real far north. But also you have all these little sub quests that pop up. So it's cult slavers, half run nests and liberate ports. Now I've liberated all the ports that you can, so we can jump around and I can show you guys these things. I made a point of not doing all of these because they are not just the same mission. There's usually different things thrown into them. So we're gonna take on some of those after I show you guys how to beat the pirate captains. It's not real difficult. And basically, when you go and you take these guys on, I found that I could do it from with the starter ship. You just have to have um, an aggressive attack plan. And if I can capture his ship, all the better. So this is about the size of what you'll fight with one of the their big Colt ships. And we're going to light some people up here. So cannons. And what I've been doing is firing my cannons at the sick bay and then when everybody runs up there because they're going to try to heal you drop some heat and then maybe I'll like boom see everybody up there now oh and everybody got a little bit of love and the whole point of this is to Oh, look at that. They're dropping that crap on me now. Oh, come here. Oh, get out of there, dude. There we go. Messed me up with my little plan, but you can always pause it. And there we go, we just killed two, two of the crew. If this guy would actually stay where I want him. And then of course we're gonna keep dropping the heat. And all I'm using is the acid mortar and then the first mortar that you're, oh, he's not even working. Oh dude, come on buddy. Ooh, there's another one down. Yeah, this acid mortar works great. See, we're still okay here. And of course, at any time, once you think you've got enough of the crew killed, you can fire these harpoons, change your position. Let me drop a little more love here. And there we go. So then at this point, what I like to do is I go. Hey, all of, oh, wait a minute. There we go. Ah. All of my crew. Go kill him. 
Of course, as soon as you, your feet touch the ground or their ship, everybody runs at you. And we did it. So instead of getting 23 or just 56, you're always getting this fish bonus, which you're going to need. I mean, you're gonna have, we're going to have to really try and uh, watch the happiness of our crew. It, and you can only go to 100. I'd like that if you could go above that. If the devs wanted, you know, my personal opinion. I'd like to be able to go above that. And then, of course, this is all I've got for money. 216 and 150. But you can see I have the harpoons. I do have the lifeboat, which you want to use. And maybe we'll come across something where I can show you that. Uh, besides just saving your ship. But that's basically all if you've got to do. Now, we can then jump to other areas. And then I can show you guys some of these cult missions. Submissions, I guess, is what you'd call them. You do that by teleporting. But first things first, always want to repair all. And let's see, I'll show you guys here. We've got the acid bomb and then just the regular mortar. And the reason I'm running with this is the regular mortar does high damage to crew. High, uh, high, yeah, you know, medium to high damage, and then of course, the crew, they're the way the AI is set up, they don't run away from the acid bombs. So if you drop them, where I was saying drop them, you kick some serious booty now. And depending with the sniper, um, so in this top left position, I would recommend either the thing that kills sails, or the sniper gun, because the sniper gun you can use to shoot whoever's um, doing the ship. You can use it to kill. And there's no distance. It's got, has infinite range. You can use it to kill uh, the priests. Anybody that's doing healing. Um, if there's someone on a specific weapon that you want to take down. The sniper gun's awesome. And then of course we have the grape shot. Which is what I was using. Which is a, a, a basically what, a AOE damage. So three AOE damage. And then of course we kill our ship. It is all good. And you can see here on my crew, my boys have gotten pretty beefy here. Um, the other thing that I noticed is that if and when you stop being a pirate and you actually take the higher road, I don't have anywhere close to the amount of deaths from my crews. I'll have, I've had one die here and there, but in general, much, much better solutions. So you can see Captain Rev, he's it's what rank five on melee and shooting. Everybody else is pretty solid. My um, helmsman is doing a great job. He's got five. Everybody else is five, five, five. So if you guys notice, uh, wonder why things go so quick, that is why. Now, fast travel. And as a standard, you're going to need at least 50 supplies to fast travel. And sometimes it'll keep you only in certain areas. It all depends. Now... All of these right here, you see, all of these through the center have no port. But if I remember, there might be missions in one of these guys. And I know that there are multiple missions up here because I made a point of not doing them. So let's go down here to this port and see if we can find that mission. All right, folks. Well, we are in luck. I found one of the cult ships that's supposed to be the ultra badass so they're going to want you to capture this ship you can see this bad boy right here and you can tell it is the cult ultra ship because it does have a skull and crossbones if you look close the skull's kind of messed up there so let's see what we can do all right so as you see there's a whole crap ton of guys now they've got everything multiply mounted so we're going to do the same tactic as before which, of course, is going to be try and pull everybody to this corner. And at this point, I should be able to outshoot everybody. My guy should be faster than anybody else's. Because, I mean, they're all as high as they can be. All right. So, and it's up to you whether you start up here in this corner or if you start maybe in a different area trying to kill the Halifron. Because those are still something you have to be very careful with. You can see there, I almost got that first one. Oh, it's dead. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. And um, there's stuff like lightning in this one. So it can uh, turn your... Basically, it'll set your ship on fire. Is that the only one I... Can? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll fire here. Fire here. And then we're going to shoot him. Because that is the one thing that will get in the way of our plans. And she... No! Oh! You're kidding me! Why did she not die? So... We'll start with... I usually like to hold off on this last shot just to see if there's anything I need to shoot. If, uh... You know, sometimes I hold off. I want to... Ah, die! There we go. Oh my god, she survived that? Oh! Now, you will get to a point now where I can um, really just start lobbing and not pausing. So, we're going to light this up here. We wouldn't want you going anywhere. Oh, finally she's dead. Okay. Now, we can start dropping them here. And the Halifron's going to want to come over. So, we're going to do this. Okay, and since we are so close, and we're trying to capture this, what we're going to do is we're going to shut off there we go. We're going to shut off our cannon boys. This should make short work. There we go. And then we're going to put a guy here. Oh, we're just going to put him right there. So he is ready to light things up. And then where did my, my dude go? So this is one, one of the few problems I have with the game is that it should... Oh, he's back to doing what he's supposed to. Um, it should let you zoom in a little closer. I would really like to have the ability to do that. Oh, my guy almost is... Oh, yeah, he'll survive. These guys won't, though. You're dead. And then, of course, this last guy's going to run over here. And... How about you guys go kill Mr. Colt, man? And make things even easier... There we go. There we go. So that's how you take on the Colt ship. Again, you can see we've got a lot better things. Now, you might not be able to. You know, it depends on how you get your setup. But once you basically get the uh, the two mortars, you should be good. And that was it. Now, when you do it the first time, it'll say, oh, such and such happens. You need to go here. So that's the one spot we need to go to. Now, to do this, I actually, we were going to go here. I dropped down to here. Now we're going to go up here, and we'll go jumping. All right, ladies and gents. Well, as I position myself for the next episode, so I can show you guys, because I'm going to go find, because I wanted to really make sure I showed you how to beat pirate ships and how to beat the Colt ships. So now we've done that. I'm going to show you how to do those submissions in the next episode. So please, like favorite and share 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 let's see before this guy gets too frisky jacking these guys up there we go we got them off of that cannon anyways folks please like favorite and subscribe keep your heads down hey all cannons up and we'll go a pirate to hunting and cold hunting in the next episode. And I'll see you again. Ooh, a real damn sound.